Ah yes, the nether. A warm and, well, not so cozy place. I mean, who wouldn't want to go make friends with the piglins? And the hoglins too, of course. While Minecraft 1.16 has already been packed full with some amazing features, there's always room for more. What if the piglins had a commander in charge? My name is System Z, and today we're checking out piglin chiefs for Minecraft 1.16. If you enjoyed the video, consider becoming a member, where you'll gain access to awesome community perks, like being invited to my Minecraft server. And the best part is you'll be supporting me and my channel along the way. Click the join button below for more information, and as always, here is today's tier three shout out. Thank you so much for supporting Supporting my channel. Before we get started, a large portion of my viewers are currently unsubscribed. So if you like what you see and you enjoy my videos, consider subscribing. It's completely free and you'll even be notified whenever I upload a video. I mean, could you just imagine you're strolling along in another world in survival Minecraft and then you suddenly see this guy coming towards you? I mean, good gosh, if that is not absolutely terrifying, I don't know what is. But this, of course, my friends, is the Piglin Chief, a mob that we have been working on for quite some time. And when I say we, this idea was originally brought to me by Energy, a good friend of mine. And ever since then, we've been working on it. I showcased it in my video, five bosses that should be in Minecraft, and ever since then, we have been developing a really, really cool backstory for this guy. So now that we're in Minecraft 1.16, or at least in the snapshots, now is the perfect time to check this guy out and give him the spotlight he truly deserves that being said if we oh okay all right we don't we don't want to make him a little too mad i'm gonna back up a little bit he clearly doesn't like it i'm stumbling i'm afraid i'm too scared for my own pants right now this guy features two main distinctive details the flag and the hammer both of which are very important they offer something very unique to the game that does not currently exist with any other mob in Minecraft. That being said, we're gonna talk about that here in just a moment. For now, I wanna talk about exactly where this guy would spawn and exactly why he is going to be absolutely terrifying. I mean, just look at the way he whips around like that. This would be a mob that would spawn about as rarely as a witch in the overworld. Spawning in packs of eight to 10 piglin. This guy would be the guy in charge, the commander in chief in action. Meaning any time this guy was around, all of the piglin would be ordered to take you down. There is no neutral behavior when this guy's around. It's all aggression. I mean, just look at the gold on this guy. You know he's after any gold you may have. He doesn't even care if you're showing it. He wants to get it. So he's going to summon all of the piglins around to take you down down that being said the best way to defeat this guy is of course going to be from long distance he's obviously very open there's not much armor on this guy so that being said you could probably take him down efficiently with a bow or a trident but trust me it's going to be worth it because the drops on this guy are truly magnificent that being said let's take a closer look at the flag and the hammer and why they're probably the coolest new items that could ever be added into the Minecraft 1.16 update. First up, we've got the Piglin Flag, which has probably one of the coolest mechanics in the game. The Piglin Flag would be one of the main reasons you would actually want to kill the Piglin Chief. But before we get to that, let me introduce you to Nether Gold Ore, a new type of ore that would spawn exclusively in the Nether, as well the name suggests. Now this would be ordinary gold ore, however, instead of actually dropping as a block, it would actually give you the chance to use it as some sort of Fortune 3 enabled block, meaning you would get the ingot that you're expecting. And again, Fortune 3 in easier terms would work on this block. Now obviously that is all fine and dandy. These would spawn a little bit more rarely than normal gold in the overworld, considering you would actually be able to use fortune on them. However, they would spawn basically out in the open. You wouldn't have to go mining for this. Now, this would obviously help with the crafting of netherite ingots, but it's going to come at a bit of a price. Obviously, piglins love gold. So, if they see you come anywhere near the nether gold ore, they are absolutely not going to like it. They are going to run very quickly and try and kill you before you take their precious ore. Mm -hmm. And if you have a full set of netherite tools, that's not going to be the most fun way to go. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you would lose all of your important gear unless you had the respect of the piglin. Mm -hmm. 
That is where the piglin flag comes in. This is a really cool concept to where essentially, we can go ahead and put this on our back, if you actually manage to kill the piglin chief, you would be able to wear the flag, as you can see here. And whenever you are actually wearing the flag, you would be given an effect similar to Hero of the Village, known as Piglin Respect. Where whenever you're near a piglin or gold, they would simply respect you and they wouldn't attack you. I also think this would be a great way to unlock the bartering system with piglin instead of just being able to do it in general. That would be an amazing feature that we currently do not have in the game. I think this is incredibly unique. Not to mention, it is a really cool building block. I mean, I would honestly love it if flags were added into the game. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we do currently have banners, but just imagine being able to actually place flags instead of banners. We have some sort of banner holder and create this flag type block. This would be absolutely amazing for building. I know decorating could be very much enhanced with something like this. Plus, it would give us a reason to keep all of the different banners we get from traveling around Minecraft and beating certain aspects of the game all in all i think these are very cool ideas it's definitely different and not like anything we currently have in the game that being said let me know what you think of this down in the comments below but next up let's talk about the hammer next up the nether hammer or the nether rammer as i've probably dubbed it yeah i know i'm, I'm the best person ever when it comes to naming items but the nether rammer would be an exclusive drop who is exclusively dropped by killing the piglin chief. Have you ever heard of the trident? It was a weapon added back in Minecraft 1.13. Dropped very rarely, and I mean very rarely, by killing drowned, which again were added in 1.13. This particular weapon, the trident, has its own enchantments, its own mechanics. You use it very differently to that of any other current weapon in the game. I like to believe that that's exactly how the nether rammer would be added to the game as well. It would be a very unique weapon. I love the idea of adding unique items like this. It definitely makes the game more fun, it gives us more of a reason to explore and experiment in the game, and I really like the idea of making them rare drops. That being said, of course, you're probably wondering, get to the point, that is exactly what the Nether Rammer is. It's a very exclusive rare drop from the Piglin Chief. You would always get the flag, but very rarely would you get the Nether Rammer. Now, I could actually hold this. You can kind of see what it looks like. Boom! Yeah! Fear me! I've got the ban hammer. Follow the rules. Always. See, this would be really fun for a server owner. <laughs> but this is a really cool weapon. There's a lot of different ways we could use this. Now, obviously, it would have a swiping attack. But one of the main attacks and purposes would be that it could actually smash on the ground. Now, in this case, you see that it does break the block. However, naturally, it would not do this unless you had a specific enchantment. Which, of course, brings me to my next point. Enchantments. This is where it gets interesting. I absolutely love this. As you know, the Trident has some very, very unique enchantments that have brought so many different things to the game, such as channeling, the ability to basically fly around with a Trident, like your Aquaman, or of course even the ability to charge creepers with lightning very easily to get mob heads. There's something very cool about this hammer, and it's these three enchantments, and potentially even more! So, the first one is Brock, sorry, Block Breaker. This would be an enchantment that would actually allow it to break blocks, something, like I said, it would not be able to do by default. Now, the reason this could be great is because when you're mining, it would actually mine three by three radiuses, allowing you to easily mine through. Now, when you're searching for netherite, as you know, that would be amazing. Or even if you're searching for diamond in general, or even just trying to clear out space for your base. Of course, next up, we've got Molten Smash, which just sounds awesome. So the way this would work is that basically any mob in a 3x3, 5x5, or 9x9 radius, depending on which level of Molten Smash you have, would actually be affected by the pulsing that kind of comes from smashing the ground, and it would set them on fire. So that way, whenever you have a lot of mobs around, you could easily smash the ground, and that would catch them on fire. I think that is a really cool idea. And and last but certainly not least, we've got Rubble Pulse, which is a little bit more of a long range tool. Now the way this enchantment would work is that you would hold it, you would essentially charge it up, oh, no, whoa, 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 you didn't see that, you would essentially charge it up, smash the ground, and it would send a pulse out towards the enemy that you were currently trying to defeat. That, my friends, is the definition of an amazing enchantment. 
Ah, <sighs> but that being said, you understand why I believe this is probably one of the coolest features that could ever be added into the game. The Piglin Chief, the Piglin Flag, the Respect Mechanic, the Nether Gold, or in the Warhammer, or the Nether Hammer as I like to call it, all of these would be the perfect way to round all of the cool features with the Piglin in the Minecraft 1.16 update. Well, this is certainly different. I came on to record today's video and I was greeted by this. But you know what? That's perfect. I'll use this interesting bug as a chance to make the outro. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, of course, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And while you're at it, consider subscribing and turning on notifications to be alerted whenever I next upload a video. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the Piglin Chief. Would you like to see it in Minecraft 1.16? Let me know in the comments down below. But that being said, I'm going to figure out what exactly is going on here. In the meantime, my name has been SystemZ. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.